everyone. As you can see, I'm not on my boat and I'm not working on my engine. And the reason for that is that I realized I did not have all the tools and the time to take apart my manifold in order to put the hoses on. So I'm really gonna prepare to do all of that next week, make sure my ducks are all in a row. And in the meantime, I thought I would come to Fisheries Supply and show you the top five items on my wish list and break down what I think is so cool about each one of them. So here's my items from number five to number one. Number five are some teak pieces, starting with this teak lumber, which I'm gonna use to replace a few slats in my cockpit that uh, have broken because the teak was so old and weathered that even oil didn't uh, revive it. So um, I'm gonna, as they break, I'm going to replace them one by one so it's not such a big shock because although I do have a great employee discount, teak is probably the, one of the most expensive woods out there. And um, I also have a teak uh, cutlery rack and I'd like to eventually put all kinds of silverware and knives on the wall mount to the bulkhead because right now I have a silverware drawer. It's really nice. But I'm just thinking I have all this wall space and then I would have the silverware drawer for storage space. And um, on a 31 foot boat, it's important to maximize your storage space. And I also have a teak toilet paper holder. The reason that teak is my favorite choice on a boat is because of its durability. Um, and that is especially true for exterior teak that you're going to be walking on. Uh, for example, these uh, slats are um, going to be under our feet. So on the bottom of the cockpit, they're going to be the floor. And um, it's really important to have a nice hard wood like teak that you're standing on, um, putting your whole weight on, um, as opposed to mahogany, which is what I have uh, throughout the inside of my boat, which is still a very nice wood, but it's not as hard as teak. Number four on my list is Cristal Cookware. And um, the reason I like it, I have a few reasons for liking it. One, um, the design is very thermally efficient. The, um, it's got a really thick base and straight thigh sides, and that makes it so that there are no hot spots in the, the pot and the food. And um, it heat, heats evenly, and it also keeps the food warm when you put it on the table for a lot longer than a regular pot. And Another thing I love about it is that when they, when they come, like when you buy them, they don't come with any handles um, so that you can nest them. Like if you get this, the 13-piece cookware set, you can, you can nest them all together, which is great for storage on a boat. And then when you want to have a handle, you can put a handle on. Like this is a good frying pan handle. Yeah, you can just um, you can put it in like that, and it clicks together. The handle has a little lever and this, then you got a frying pan handle. And for a pot, you can, it does come with the lid, and then you can choose whether you put, you can put the handle on the lid part, or you could put the handle on the pot part, or you can also get these pot handles. See, they go on like that. Item number three on my list is FenderTex fenders. FenderTex fenders are a relatively new fender on the market. They are 
the lightest and most compressible fenders that we sell, which is great, especially for offshore sailors or people who have small boats. You could literally compress them to the size of like a folded napkin. And um, another great thing about them is that they have a cloth exterior and a plastic bladder on the inside of it. And it seems like that would be really dinky. They feel just kind of like balloons, but they've actually done tests where they have trucks run over it. And what happens is that they just like, they just keep elongating and elongating, but they never pop. Um, so they're super strong, um, super light. And you can also, um, if you really want to spend the extra money, you can get them embroidered to say pretty much whatever you want. Number two on my list is the Firefly battery, which is a carbon foam AGM battery. It's the top of the line of the AGM, which stands for absorbed glass mat. And absorbed glass mat is a type of um, lead acid battery. Flooded is the most common basic type um, where the battery plates are submerged in an electrolyte. The absorbed glass mat, it, it takes like a glass cloth and uh, it, it kind of, it, like, it, like its name implies, it absorbs the liquid electrolyte that um, goes around the plates so that it doesn't uh, slosh around. And because of that, it won't, um, it won't cause buildup as much and you don't have to maintain them at all. Like with flooded batteries, you have to put water in um, the battery caps to keep the plates um, uh, from degenerating. But with these, uh, you, you don't, and you can also orient them in any direction you want to, whereas with flooded batteries, you have to have them upright, so that's great for storage. But this is a type of absorbed glass mat that is even better than the regular ones, and it's car called carbon foam. That's how um, the plate, this plates are surrounded by this carbon foam. And it's, the, it's basically the closest thing to lithium batteries that you can get without all of the annoying things about installing lithium. For example, um, you don't have to change your battery management system. You don't have to get a new charger or a new regulator. Um, and you don't have to change everything in your bolt to that voltage. And they're also a lot safer. Even though there are some safe lithium batteries coming out with the LIFE PO4, um, these, this, this is safer than even those. And it has the same good qualities. Like it has the same uh, increase in usable capacity over a standard AGM battery, which means that you can have, have a greater depth of discharge and still recover from it. It actually, like this battery, has the same usable capacity as a flooded 8D battery, which is like that big. So that's amazing. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so this is kind of the battery I'm thinking about right now because I don't want to have to do all of the million upgrades that you need to install lithium. And and um, and I also it, it, it's just like the 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 best easiest compromise I can make. Okay, the number one item on my wish list is the Maxwell HRC 108 windlass, and the reason is is because utility. First of all, when I single hand around Vancouver Island next summer, 2022, I need a electric windlass. And many of you know why that is, because last time when I got stuck at anchor, I couldn't sail off Alicia because I didn't have an electric windlass in part. And the reason that I am totally in love with the Maxwell is, uh, first of all, it's so pretty. Um, just look at that. Look at the light glinting off of this chain wheel. Um, it's so, it just feels so sturdy and elegant compared to the Lumar um, or even the Quick. And um, also when you look up the specs online, it has a higher uh, safe working load. It has a faster pull, like it pulls the, the road up more quickly. And um, it also has this cool uh, gypsy design that all Maxwell windlasses have where the teeth are asymmetrical and they take both grades of chain. So my chain is gonna be 5 16 and I can use triple B or high test. 
And um, and those are the main reasons why I like the Maxwell Windlass. Also, the other side, look at how elegant and pretty that is. Yeah. Well, that's it for this week. I hope you liked my top five video. And I was actually thinking that from now on, I could do one top five video every month and I can showcase different products from the store, and I could have themes like uh, top five under five dollars, top five under ten dollars, and I know that's pretty hard for boat stuff to get it that cheap, but I think I can do it. Um, or I could also group the products by theme. So if you, um, if you have any ideas for the next video like this, let me know. And next week, I'm gonna get back to my engine work, and I hope you have a great week.